It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 199 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out for you. You ready? All right, you ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Need lands to the body by the taller fighter. When he drops his hand, throw a head kick. Oh, he got.
got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Lock him, suck him out of the shoot here. There, pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Leg kick. Right hand upstairs. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Shot to the body now blocked by Lee. Oh, Superman punch. Big call to punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, good kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick land. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. that one at all. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landed his big body kicks. What a punch. Just misses there with the left. Continues to work the body here. Oh! What a kick! Ah. Rips the body there. Let's move that head now. 20 seconds to go. Throwing that jab, no good. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands from Kirk. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Pretty 
pretty effective strike there as he led with that left hand. It's his best strike. It does not matter what fight stance he's in. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Blocks the shot. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh! Huge kick to the head. And he continues to work the body here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. hip into that leg kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, he's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. How good is that right hand? Leg kick checked by Lee. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big power shot there. Nice one, two there. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Whip his hip into that kick. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Lee. Right hand landed. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landed those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to lose the mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Back and forth we go here! Beautiful body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch by Lee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. 20 seconds left. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, trying to turn out the... Oh, that's the this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. Got him hurt very badly. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick to sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch. Countering with a jab here. Nice block by Lou. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Great punch landed with so much power. Straight right hand, no good. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that. Hands on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. But this guy has the corner hurt very badly again. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he lands the knee to the body now. Just misses with a left hook there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Switching stances here. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice job of hiding that head kick. The right hand just misses. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Liver kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And they separate. Beautiful strike. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Just misses with the right hook. He's very quick when he throws that body kick. Nice punch win. Whips on the straight right hand. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Nice kick. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Punch is blocked. Throws the right hand there. Big kick lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, huge block! Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Get the turtle in that kick. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. And How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Good stick. Three minutes remain in the round. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. And just misses with that big right hand. Big kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. to the head plus. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Under two minutes to go. Attempt there, blocked. That one's not in. Nice try. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. There. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Real quick leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Nice. 
Nice kick. Right punches there. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus bits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Beautiful punch. Trump. Such a cheeky head kick. He did not recognize it from too high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nice punch here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful body kick. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Oh, what a head kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. Oh! Nice. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Forward and take down. Swing and a miss by Lee. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's throwing so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. doesn't find its home. Another straight left. Oh, nice. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes remain in round five. Lee's kick is blocked. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Right hand upstairs. That's a big strike right there. Oh, Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Nice head kick. Punch over the top. Right hand 
upstairs. Blocks that kick to the body. That knee, that knee hurt him. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Stu's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. more fun to watch the mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Big body kick. Blocks the shot. Oh! Oh! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. What a fight! decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Big Daddy!